Sean todos bienvenidos a JK English, tu curso de inglés online. Yo soy la profesora Erika y el día de hoy les traigo una lección que muchos de ustedes me han estado pidiendo, donde les daré la oportunidad de practicar su inglés con nosotros, si no tienes ningún compañero con quien hacerlo en casa. Esta metodología consiste en que primero escuches una conversación sin ningún tipo de subtítulos, solo viendo lo que esté en la pantalla. Luego volverás a escuchar la conversación con su significado en español y por último practicarás la conversación conmigo. Este método es sumamente efectivo para todas aquellas personas que están iniciando a aprender inglés y con él te aseguro que tu inglés mejorará en un 50% y lo mejor es que te será extremadamente fácil. Si te gusta este tipo de clases, no dudes en suscribirte a nuestro nuevo canal Inglés para Hispanohablantes, donde estaremos subiendo cada semana lecciones de este tipo. Les estaré dejando el link en los comentarios. Y recuerda que las primeras mil personas que se suscriban recibirán un libro de gramática totalmente gratuito. ¿Qué esperas? ¡Suscríbete ya! Comencemos con la lección del día de hoy. Primera conversación. Excuse me, miss. I wonder if I could have a few minutes of your time. Why? Well, I would like to introduce you the new supermodel CX2000 vacuum cleaner. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry now. I don't have time to try it out. That's no problem. Excuse me for interrupting you. Here, have my car. Thanks. If I get the chance, I will check out your vacuum cleaner another time. That would be great. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too. Disculpe, señorita. Me preguntaba si podría tener unos minutos de su tiempo. Excuse me, miss. I wonder if I could have a few minutes of your time. Excuse me, miss. I wonder if I could have a few minutes of your time. ¿Por qué? Why? 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 Bueno, me gustaría introducirle el nuevo supermodelo ZX2000 de nuestra aspiradora. Well, I'd like to introduce you to the new supermodel CX2000 vacuum cleaner. Well, I'd like to introduce you to the new supermodel CX2000 vacuum cleaner. Well, I'd like to introduce you to the new supermodel ZX2000 vacuum cleaner. Lo siento, pero ahora tengo prisa. No tengo tiempo para probarlo. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry now. I don't have time to try it out. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry now. I don't have time to try it out. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry now. I don't have time to try it out. Eso no es problema. Disculpe por interrumpirla. Aquí tiene mi tarjeta. That's no problem. Excuse me for interrupting you. That's no problem. Excuse me for interrupting you. That's no problem. Excuse me for interrupting you. Here, have my car. Here, have my car. Here, have my car. Gracias. Si tengo la oportunidad, revisaré su aspiradora en otro momento. Thanks. If I get a chance. Thanks. If I get a chance. Thanks. If I get a chance, I will check out your vacuum cleaner another time. I will check out your vacuum cleaner another time. I will check out your vacuum cleaner another time. Gracias. Eso sería excelente. Tenga un buen día. Thanks. That would be great. Have a nice day. Thanks. That will be great. Have a nice day. Thanks. That will be great. Have a nice day. Thanks. That will be great. Have a nice day. Gracias. Usted también. Thanks. 
you too thanks you too thanks you too Ahora practicaremos la conversación una vez más. El profesor Eduardo será el vendedor y tú serás el comprador. Let's begin. Excuse me, miss. I wonder if I could have a few minutes of your time. Well, I would like to introduce you the new supermodel CX2000 vacuum cleaner. That's no problem. Excuse me for interrupting you. Here, have my car. That will be great. Have a nice day. I'm looking forward to our son's graduation this weekend. Yes, so am I. But what will he do after graduation? He really needs to go to college. Well, dear, we can force him to go to college. It's up to him. I know that, but he has to learn to be independent. He can't just keep living at home. You're right. I'll talk to him about getting a job. Maybe he can work at my store. That's up to you, dear. You just have to make sure that he does his work and doesn't laugh around. Ahora vamos a ver esta misma conversación un poco más lento para que así usted pueda captar los diferentes detalles. Preste atención. Espero con ansias la graduación de nuestro hijo este fin de semana. I'm looking forward to our son's graduation this weekend. I'm looking forward to our son's graduation this weekend. I'm looking forward to our son's graduation this weekend. Sí, yo también, pero ¿qué hará después de graduarse? Realmente necesita ir a la universidad. Yes, so am I, but what will he do after graduation? He really needs to go to college. Yes, so am I, but what will he do after graduation? He really needs to go to college. Yes, so am I. But what will he do after graduation? He really needs to go to college. Luego el padre dice una verdad. Bueno, querida, no podemos obligarlo a ir a la universidad. Depende de él. Y utiliza el primer it's up to you de la conversación. It's up to him en este caso. Well, dear... We can force him to go to college. It's up to him. Well, dear, we can't force him to go to college. It's up to him. Well, dear, we can force him to go to college. It's up to him. Depende de él. Lo sé, pero él tiene que aprender a ser independiente. No puede seguir viviendo en casa. I know that, but he has to learn to be independent. I know that, but he has to learn to be independent. I know that, but he has to learn to be independent. I know that, but he has to learn to be independent. He can't just keep living at home. 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 Tienes razón. Hablaré con él sobre conseguir un trabajo. Quizás él pueda trabajar en mi tienda. You're right. I'll talk to him about getting a job. You're right. I'll talk to him about getting a job. You're right. I'll talk to him about getting a job. 
Maybe he can work at my store. Maybe he can work at my store. Maybe he can work at my store. Eso depende de ti, querido. Solo tienes que asegurarte de que él haga su trabajo y no ande por ahí. That's up to you, dear. 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 Y recordemos, ¿qué significa it's up to you? Significa depende de ti. You just have to make sure that he does his work and doesn't love around. You just have to make sure that he does his work and doesn't love around. You just have to make sure that he does his work and doesn't love around. You just have to make sure that he does his work and doesn't love around. I'm looking forward to our son's graduation this weekend. Well, dear, we can force him to go to college. It's up to him. You're right. I'll talk to him about getting a job. Maybe he can work at my store. Y bueno amigos, eso fue todo por la lección del día de hoy. Espero que les haya gustado bastante. No olvides que estaremos subiendo más lecciones como esta en nuestro nuevo canal. Así que no olvides suscribirte, que las clases estarán muy interesantes. Y recuerda, las primeras mil personas en suscribirse ganarán un libro de gramática totalmente gratis. Nos vemos en el próximo video.